We have the officiator in his natural habitat talking into the microphone, writing with a pencil, and talking into the microphone. What's he gonna do next? Back to the pencil. <laughs> and he's just looking. I bet he's gonna go back to the microphone. Back to the microphone. <laughs> Okay, listen, I got a haircut, cause one, gotta keep your girlfriend happy, two, I didn't like waking up with hair in my teeth from, from a, uh, and I was turning into a cat with hairballs. P.S. Have you ever thought that haircuts are kind of weird, like they used to really freak me out because that person has power to make you look stupid for at least three weeks. That's a lot of power for haircut people, I'm just telling you. Alright, so for the last... Eight weeks. The first week I was doing a bunch of eccentric loading, the next week I did isometric cycle, and then now I'm in the concentric phase. So we're doing all sorts of new stuff, everything is really fast and really fun. I got a snatch PR, like hang snatch and normal snatch, because I never snatched because my shoulders used to hurt. That was pretty cool, they don't hurt and that went great. I did bottom up squats. <laughs> Fast RDLs, some clap pull-ups, these little pull vault press things I've been doing, but since the concentric phase, it had to be really quick. Pretty neat. But just like always, we are always working on fast accelerations. One more set of 40s. Rock some sleds, start free lap. Uh, even the sled 20s and the 30s, I hit the fastest times of the year so far, but then jinxed myself for the 40s. But yeah, not too bad for kind of kind of feel like crap today. So that's a good sign. Let's rock it out. Do some plows and some weights. Boom titties. So things are my training's working. It's kind of like I might know what I'm talking about. Maybe. I don't even know. It's just a big experiment. There's a wind inside. That's why I was so fast. And maybe the stupidest thing I decided to do was single leg plyos. I did all my plyo routine, box plyo routine, with one leg. And the next day, my knees were like, you're dumb. And uh, we're not doing that again. <laughs> even though it was kind of fun at the time. Uh, I don't like to be in pain. So, yeah. It was a pretty good week. So let's talk about pull vault practice and the meat. Alright, so we went to practice with the only goal of trying to get that aggressive early plant. My screensaver just turned on. There, it's bright again. Nice. All right, so trying to get that nice early plant um, and being really aggressive, pushing that left arm nice and tall, and then hitting that left, the right corner, not the left corner. That's stupid. We want to hit the right corner. You're dumb. And we just did it over and over and over and over again, trying to create a habit. And it started to work really well. That was the only goal of the day. And uh, we just had the bar at 16 feet, so I just jumped out a bunch. Nothing too crazy, little pulls, just working on um, the stuff. Just the plant and the takeoff. Plant and takeoff, over and over and over again. I was jumping on a 15.6, 180. I don't know the flex number on it, it was ripped off. But yeah, sorry. I started with the grip at like 14.6, and then by the end of the day it was like, well this is working, let's try and go to the next step. So the next step was just pushing the grip up, and by the end of the day, I I almost got to work, but then my legs gave out. I had my grip at around 15 feet from six lefts. My six left was at like 91 feet or something like that. So yeah, it was a pretty good day, or it was a pretty okay day. It was just a day. It was just it was fun. Yeah, I got it. 
the Buddhist stuff, I'm trying to, like, enjoy the moments more, not just saying, like, hey, that was fun, and then shoot myself back down. Like, can you enjoy it? And then just not get attached to that. That's what I'm trying to do. So that's why I'm, like... I don't know what I should say. Zen. A couple of vlogs ago, I talked about I was going to speak at this coach's convention, and I got to do that twice, actually. They asked me to do it on Friday and Saturday. <laughs> And I asked everyone on social media, like, what do you guys want me to talk about? And some of you were like, I want you to talk about the Russian model, the Petrov model. I want you to talk about what you do with your left arm. I want you to talk about training. I want you to talk about... There's just too much. You guys gave me like 5,000 different things to talk about. And then I decided that I was going to talk about the art and the science of the pole vault. And how uh, models only work for the people they're named after. So I pretty much just did my whole speech on that models are stupid. <laughs> and that you need to coach the science and then play with the art. Um, I'll put the whole PowerPoint on team-hoot.com under the pole vault section, so you're gonna have to find it. But uh, yeah, it went pretty well. And then the second day, John, a couple of guys came to my the same presentation twice, which is pretty cool. Uh, John Hammerschmidt made this badass like owl or team hoot thing, and it's not on my wall yet because I couldn't find a good frame, but it will be on my wall, guaranteed. I promise. All right, so then I talked Friday and Saturday and went to the meet on Saturday directly after talking. I had this kind of mental note I didn't talk to a lot of people about. It was that if I jumped 520 from 6, then I would feel comfortable going back to fulls and I'd start doing that. I ended up jumping 520 or 171 in, in the warm-ups, so I was pretty pumped about that. Like, holy crap, that's working. And it was one of Steve's magic cues. I was doing that corner thing, and then uh, Steve was telling me this other cue about... Um, moving everything forward in perfect direction and I, I can't do it all the time yet but I did it on that jump so everything was kind of working like the only goal again was to hit that left arm nice and tall and then hit that right corner of the box I could do it about seven out of ten times uh, the times I did it I made bars and the times I didn't uh, I got a little squirrely <laughs> And for whatever reason, I was running super fast and I couldn't get my step back no matter how far back I moved. So, like, my mid was always at 47.6. It's just ridiculous. So I jumped, uh, I came in at 495, 16.2, jumped 505, which is like 16.6 or 7 or something like that. And then, uh, at 515, on my first jump, I finally got my steps in the right place and I was, it felt stupid. <laughs> While I was upside down, I was like, why does this feel like butter? <laughs> and then before I could, like, my brain could answer the you know, question I just asked myself, the vault was going without me, so I was like, I gotta get off this pole! And, uh, I, I put a good attempt at it, even though it was really ugly, and it almost stayed up at 515. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Like, 16, 10, or 11? I have no idea. The last attempt was okay. I was a little under again, and I hit that corner really well with my left arm. The pole just kind of went wonk and opened up without it going forward. So Steve's convinced that we need to go to phase three. I think we're on phase three. So we went to phase three that we need to keep that pole moving forward as it's opening. Instead of opening it and then trying to move it forward, it needs to be one consistent motion. We need to combine the two movements into one. And when I do that, I jump 17 one from six or higher. So that was the meet. Hey, I got a really good idea. If you guys haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you should do that, like, right now. It helps me keep making these. If you guys like social media, I'm on Twitter and Instagram and, um, this other one, Tumblr? Is that what it's called? I'm on there now. Uh, and it's all Sean Danger Hoot, because Danger's my middle name. It's not really, but it's funny. Last two things and we'll get out of here. If you guys want to start submitting intros again, uh, if I pick your intro, I will send you... Sexy Team Hoot stickers. So... Send those intros, and if you make it, you get some stickers. That'd be great. If you don't want to make an intro, but you want to get stickers, then all you have to do is ask me a question or tell me what to rant about for 60 seconds or 30 seconds. I think I'm going to start trying to just throw a little rant into every vlog I do. 
because to me they're funny. We got on a rant about cloning and my mom said, Cloning would be sweet if you cloned yourself and then you had to raise yourself as a child. Then you could see what a pain in the ass it was to raise you. That makes a lot of sense. And then I started thinking about cloning a whole bunch. It was kind of like, If you cloned yourself and you were raising yourself as a child, you could give yourself some pretty awesome advice. What do you wish you could tell your younger self? I don't have to wish because I'm going to grab this little dude over here and tell him exactly what I think. Boom. Tell me to rant about something. You win some stickers. Okay. Bye. PowerPoint is on team shootcom if you guys want it. I'll put a link in um, the description here. It's like, I'm not pointing at my tackle and bits. I'm pointing where the description is going to be of the PowerPoint presentation. Let me know what you think. Bye.